So right now I'm going to show you how to do an earthwork estimating worksheet problem. Um, so to start off, you're given the station, the end area cut, end area fill, the strip cut and strip fill. And you can see uh, over here on the right-hand side are some useful equations for doing this worksheet. So the first thing I'll calculate is the volume of cut, which you can see on the right-hand side is equal to the end area cut at your current station plus the end area cut at the previous station, all divided by two, and multiply that by the distance at your current station uh, minus the previous station, and divide the entire thing by 27 to get it into cubic yards. And you can take that and just drag it down. And then the volume of fill is essentially the same thing, but you use end area fill instead of end area cut. So you do end area fill at your current station plus the end area fill at the previous station divided by 2 and multiply that by the distance from your current station to the previous station and divide the entire thing by 27 and then drag that down. And then the next thing you need to calculate is the total cut which is equal to the volume of cut minus the strip cut. You can drag that down. And then move on to the total fill, which is equal to the volume of fill plus the strip fill. And then the adjusted fill is equal to the total fill divided by 0.9. And you do that to convert from compacted cubic yards to bank cubic yards. And the last thing you'll do is the algebraic sum, <coughs> which is equal to the total cut minus the adjusted fill. And if you drag that down, you can see that my graph is set up to show the algebraic sum versus the distance of your stations. And once that is done, you have everything done on the earthwork estimating worksheet.